Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you. And I will lead you back and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we come into the holy presence of God, as it were removing our shoes, acknowledging that God is here, that God is with us, that God is on our side to help us. We offer with this confidence our prayers and petitions, our praise and thanksgiving, joining into this holy sacrifice of the Mass. And in this Mass, in a particular way, we thank God for the rain that has fallen over our city over the last day after some period of drought. So we thank God for graces and blessings received. We commend to the Lord all those who have died, especially Peter and Louisa Scholz, who would have celebrated their birthdays this week, that the Lord may grant them eternal rest and peace and bring comfort to their family as they continue trying to come to terms with their passing. And at this time of civil unrest in parts of our country, we continue using the prayers from the masses for various needs and intentions, for civil needs, for peace during this time. With all of this in mind, we acknowledge our sins, asking God for pardon and mercy as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author and lover of peace, to know you is to love, to serve you is to reign. Defend against every attack those who cry to you, so that we who trust in your protection may not fear the weapons of any foe. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Your reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. And he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. A 
And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked. And behold, the bush was burning. Yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not bent. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, here am I. Then he said, do not come near, put off your shoes from your feet. For the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his faith hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, Now, behold, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. I will send you to Pharaoh that may bring forth my people, the sons and daughters of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the sons and daughters of Israel out of Egypt? He said, The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all within me, his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. It is the Lord gives all sins, who heals every one of your healers, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. justice to all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious.
spirits. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. And that time Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord God never abandons his people and as we have been reflecting on the history of the patriarchs and now on Moses, the liberator of God's people, we see how God continuously reaches out to save his people. We reflect today in the first reading from the book of Exodus upon the call of Moses, the call of Moses to become the liberator of the people of God. He it was who would form them, who would give them an identity, communicating to them the commandments of the Lord, how they were to live in their religious and social settings. And it is an horror, the mountain of God, Appears to Moses in a burning bush, the bush that was not consumed by the fire, the sun, the symbol to Moses of the Lord's presence. And it is with wonder and awe that Moses approaches this mysterious sign and indeed he encounters the Holy God of Israel, the one who is calling him not to fear, but to follow his instruction, his commission, his command, because as the Lord assures him, I will be with you. And the Lord is sending Moses to an oppressed people, the Hebrews in Egypt, in slavery, and perhaps these words speak to us too in so many situations of oppression that we find ourselves at this time of our history. He says to Moses, I have heard the cry of the children of Israel. I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. I am coming to save them. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring forth my people. Indeed, as the psalm which we responded to this wonderful story of Moses' call says, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. Jesus, the new Moses, in thanksgiving, in praise to the Father who reveals himself in Jesus, who reveals himself through Jesus to little ones in the gospel today. And it is only those really who are liberated 
those who are truly liberated, whose hearts are set free, whose hearts turn in trust to the Lord, who can recognize that even in the midst of this oppression, of the rejection that Jesus and his disciples experienced just prior to this, that the Lord is still at work. It is only those who are truly liberated, the community of the liberated, the community of the reconciled, that can turn to the Lord with trust, because the Lord sets us free in order that we may worship Him. This truth was not revealed to the wise and the understanding, the religious leaders of the time, but to the little ones, like Moses as he came into the presence of the Lord, like the little ones of the Lord Jesus, who reveals Himself to us in word and sacrament at the Eucharist. Let us humble ourselves. Let us turn to the Lord with fear and trembling, in wonder and awe, as we continue on this path of liberation, which Christ has opened up for us through the cross and the resurrection. Trusting in the Lord as we worship Him, these liberated people, trusting that He sees, that He hears our cries, we turn in prayer, in supplication, for deliverance, for healing, for peace in our world. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, the health of the sick. Who had the cross to part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm, you, you salvation, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God, entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, placed the trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and, and do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into your Satan Spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be mindful, Lord that your Son, who himself is peace, has destroyed our hatreds by his blood. Look in mercy on our evil deeds and grant that to those whom you love, this sacrifice may restore peace and tranquility through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life and being rich. Constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now, you said before your people a time of grace and reconciliation and as they turn back to you in spirit you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and desire and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit and so full of wonder we extol the power of your love and proclaiming our joy and the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You indeed, you are indeed holy, O Lord and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy look we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved son jesus christ in whom we too are your sons and daughters Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross. He took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and look forward to his blessed coming. We offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body, Christ, who heals every division. Please to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis Sarko, and to the Archbishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among saints, in the halls of heaven. For the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, Mary's Holy Spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Benedict Aswa, Mary Margaret Alakon, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, including Peter and Louisa, and all those who have died at this time, those who have died due to the violence, who have died because of coronavirus, those who have died because of many other illnesses and diseases and tragic accidents, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, free at last for the wound of corruption made fully into a new creation, which are seen to you with gladness. The thanksgiving of Christ lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the 
faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peace I give with you, my peace I give to you, says the Lord. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to us, O Lord, that nourish with the delights of one bread that fortifies the human heart, we may successfully overcome the fury of war and resolutely keep your law of love and justice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.